by Roald Dahl. The most important thing we've learned, as far as children are concerned, is never, never, never let them near a television set, or better still, just don't install the idiotic thing at all. In almost every house we've been, we've watched them gaping at the screen. They loll and sob and lounge about and stare until their eyes pop out. Last week in someone's place we saw a dozen eyeballs on the floor. <laughs> they sit and stare and stare and sit until they're hypnotized by it, until they're absolutely drunk by all that shocking ghastly junk. Yes, we know it keeps them still. They don't climb out the window so They never fight or kick or punch. They leave you free to cook the lunch and wash the dishes in the sink. But have you ever stopped to think, wonder just exactly what this does to your beloved tot? It rocks the sense in the head. It kills imagination dead. It clogs and clutters up the mind. It makes a child so dull and blind. He can't in wonderland to stand a fantasy, a fairyland. His brain becomes as soft as cheese. His powers of thinking rust up and freeze. He cannot think, he only sees. All right, you'll cry. All right, you'll say. But if you take the set away, what will we do to entertain <coughs> our darling children? Please explain. <coughs> We'll answer this by asking you, what did the darlings used to do? How did they keep themselves contented before this monster was invented? Have you forgotten? Don't you know? We'll say it very loud and slow. They used to read. They'd read and read and read and read and then proceed to read some more. <laughs>